Hey yo, here we go. One, two, three, four. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Richard and today... Hey, what's up team? My name is Richard and today we're gonna be unboxing photosynthesis. All right, let's open her up. Shall we? Be quiet. Oh no, I just cut the box. Ah, oh yeah, get that packaging off. Yeah, oh, so smooth. Oh, look at that. Photo. Synthesis. Nice. Very artistic looking game. What do we have here? We have a little tray. I guess you have to build the tray out. You even have to assemble your uh, box insert. Okay, here we have the English rule book. It's two pages a, with the introduction game components, um, one, two, and then ending the end of the game. So three pages, it's uh, pretty concise. This is interesting that you have to build your storage. Kind of cool though. That'd be interesting to see in other games. We have here, we have the game board. Nice, nice. You're gonna be putting your trees there. I like the back, how the back is not just like a piece of board, cardboard, paper, cardboard. It's like a, that is my son. Okay, edit that out. It's like a mesh backing, cool. Here we have the sun. Okay, this is interesting. From what I understand is that you're gonna be placing your trees out on the board and then the sun actually lights up the spaces or certain areas on the board. So the sun is going to be in this corner and light up this side of the board and then you rotate it and then you rotate it again. Okay, so there's like this little uh, deal here where uh, it kind of fits on the board, kind of like a stencil or what is it called? A template just sits right there. Here we have the, uh, this looks like a modular placement. So you could set up different, uh, set up the board differently. Okay, here are the trees. Oops, these just fell right out. So that's a good sign. And these are really nice, nice quality. Oh, this one just fell out too. Uh, so here's your four player mats. Pretty good quality. I like that it's going to use a lot of icons. Icons are helpful so that once you get the icon down, it says a lot more than just words can say. <laughs> Pictures say a thousand words. Or is it a million? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop being dumb. Okay, we got orange trees, orange trees, green trees, blue trees. I've never seen a blue tree till now. Yellow tree. And then we got smaller trees. This is so cool. I love how the artwork just feels exciting. Like I just want to play it right now. What else do we have in here? We have a cardboard filler. That is it. It's just filler. So yeah, you take this filler out and... Put this in here. And this is supposed to hold your trees. Uh, well, first you have to build your trees and then you gotta be able to store them. I don't know if this is correct. This is what it looked like on the picture. And then you just combine your trees like this. Pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you one real quick. And then you just stick the top. You find a, a bottom and a top. And then you stick them inside each other like that. And look at that. It's a little tree. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know where to put this. There's one tree and you're placing your trees on the board and you got your sun coming in from the side and then you got your player board. Wow, now it's really coming together. Yeah, so the artwork is really top notch. It kind of reminds me of Sylvian. You got these bigger trees here. Stick the big ones inside each other. This, wow, look at that. That's so cool. And then you got other little tokens here. I'm not sure what they do. 
just yet. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Okay, so as you can see, all the trees fit in there nicely and assembled. So you don't have to worry about assembling and taking them down each time. And they have their counters in there, along with your scoring counters, first player marker, your other scoring counters. These wells have an inset, which you can place your player boards, and then your little sun board. And then you place your main board in there, along with your instructions. Uh, and then everything fits in there nice and neat and snug. Perfect. So a brief overview of what to expect when playing photosynthesis. A game of photosynthesis consists of four sun cycles. A light cycle consists of six rounds of moving the sun around the board. A round consists of two phases. There's the photosynthesis phase and the life cycle phase. The photosynthesis phase is basically accumulating light resources, aka light points. You will track your light points using this track over here. Then once you have accumulated your light points, players will move on to the next phase in which they will be taking their actions, buying trees and seedlings, placing more trees on the board, and also removing large trees to accumulate points. So at the beginning of the game, Players will take turns placing from their available supply two small trees. First player going first will place a small tree. Next player place another small tree and they'll place two small trees each. Then they will start their photosynthesis phase and they will accumulate light points. Notice that the sun is shining this way and so light will travel through these circles long ways from the sun and each tree will accumulate light points based on whether or not the sun is hitting that tree. So here, this tree here will accumulate one light point. This one here will also accumulate one light point. If, however, during the course of the game there was a larger tree, let's say in front of this smaller tree, this tree would actually cast shade on this smaller tree and this tree would not get light points. So you're constantly building trees and also blocking people from getting light points, spending those light points, and doing more things. So once you've accumulated light points, let's say, so this, this person got two light points, then I can either buy more things into my supply, or I can place more stuff on the board. In order to place stuff on the board, you'll notice these tracks here. I can either grow a tree from a seedling to a small tree, or a small tree to a large tree, or I can place seedlings down. And if you look at this right here, this diagram right here, I can place seedlings based on the size of my tree. So if I have a small tree, I can place a seedling one space away for one light point. Or I can place a seedling three spaces away if I have the large tree, one, two, three. The last thing you could do is actually, when you have a large tree on the board, you can collect points by removing your large tree off the board and then collecting points based on where that tree was located. So this one here was a three leaf spot. And we look over here and this is 18 points. If however I wanted to spend my two light points to upgrade my tree, I can do that as well. So I'd have to buy them first, which they cost three. And when I'm buying off of my player board, I have to buy from the bottom up. So you notice as you get more and more stuff off of this board, it's going to cost more throughout the game. Once one round ends, the next round begins by passing the first player token, then rotating the sun, and then accumulating light points and starting all over again. So that is photosynthesis in a nutshell. Hey, welcome back. So as you can see, photosynthesis is gorgeous. It has really good table presence. People dog on standees, but these are so cool. I haven't played this yet to know how well balanced it is. Um, I really like the idea of the sun cycle moving around the board. I like the idea of accumulating light points based on if the light is touching your trees. Obviously, I didn't mention all the rules, but judging from this, it seems very light. Um, I wouldn't play this constantly. It's not a huge brain burner. I might suggest this for players that 
are new to the hobby, they need something to impress them. You know what I mean? And this is definitely, uh, with the table present, it's going to impress them. I'm most positive on that. Also, you can play in advance. I guess they have an advanced rule set where you can play with a, another cycle, life cycle, excuse me, a sun cycle. And there's another rule where you can't even grow certain plants or trees if your seedlings or smaller trees are in shadow. That's for advanced rules. I wouldn't go too deep into that, but that's something you could think of. So yeah, if you like this video, if you think this table presence is amazing, like I do, check out Photosynthesis. I think it's on Amazon right now for, you know, maybe you can find it under 30 bucks. It's not too expensive because of how light it is. Um, you get all of this and, you know, the innovative box, the innovative standees, and the incredible artwork. I definitely would highly suggest Photosynthesis. Thank you very much, guys. Ha! Highly suggest both. And, and if you like this video and you want more content like this, I suggest I would. And if you want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, comment, do all the things, whatever you need to do to make your presence known. It would really mean a lot to me. You have no idea. Just to know that people are out there watching and listening. Thank you very much, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.